we were all out in the back bedroom of the works. We were taking turns. There were some friends of ours in the front room, so after we had our hit, we went through to see them. Lily was last, so she was on her own. I thought it was funny at the time because Lily's never last when it comes to getting her smack. I only went back in there because I left my fags in there. She was lying on the bed and I thought she was asleep but she was this strange colour. Blue. I just stared. I didn't realise what I was staring at until I saw the needle in her arm. The needle was still in, you see. A little blood had found its way into the works and... Ta, Rob! Ta! Rob! I screamed. I thought she was already dead. I jumped over and I hauled her up right on the bed. And then I remembered the blood in the works. That's supposed to be really dangerous. You can get air in your bloodstream and if that little bubble makes it round to your brain. So I ripped the needle out quick. And out oozed this black blood. Black blood. I never thought it could happen to any one of us. Rob came in and then Tar. She was getting bluer and bluer. Tar pushed her back on the bed because he wanted her to press her heart, but Rob was pulling her up right. He had this feeling she ought to be upright. I just kept slapping her face, just whack, whack, whack. And then she twitched. <laughs> 